I'm trying to intro my closet reorganization video. Want to help me? Okay. My closet is a big mess right now and I need to reorganize it. And like I mentioned on Instagram, my closet's a huge mess right now. So it's actually time for me to do it again. So I'm going to do that without his help because he never helps me clean anything. Just That's a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. But anyway, so I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. Okay. And buy a new bin or two to go like over the top shelf. Oh, cool. Where my sweaters are. I don't have to go to TJ Maxx, do I? He doesn't love me. He doesn't like to do things with me, see? Who likes to go to TJ Maxx? Me! Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Alright, so come to. I'm trying to decide if I want this one. All right, so that was successful. We got these three. So as promised, today we're gonna go over closet decluttering and reorganization. I'm really excited about this video. I already kind of started with everything, so I'm gonna show you a clip of what it looked like before I did my first reorganization um, because it looked very similar to what it looks like now. And also because I added one thing last time that I don't wanna give away this time. So here's what it looked like. What I want to start with is I want to show you, well, first of all, disclaimer, I am only doing my stuff that's in the closet. I'm not going to touch Ryan's because I actually have to do this with him also. So it's going to look a little bit messy on that end. What you want to do is take everything out of the closet. Everything that's hanging up, take it out. Anything that's folded, I did that a while ago. I don't like it, which is part of why we are doing this. Um, anything like that, take it out, take out everything. As you can see, I have this giant pile of clothes. <laughs> Once you've taken everything out of your closet, you're going to make three piles. You're going to make a yes pile, your maybe pile, and then your third pile is going to be your no pile. So you're going to make a yes pile. That's going to be all of the stuff that you wear all the time, your go-to stuff, your go-to pieces that you know for sure you're going to be wearing and that you like currently wear. Your maybe pile is your stuff that you have. Maybe you wear it once in a while. Maybe you're unsure of whether or not you like it. Maybe you're not really sure that you love the way it looks on you, so you need a second opinion. Maybe it's stuff that has tags on it that you don't want to throw out, but you haven't worn it yet, that kind of thing. And then your third pile is going to be your no pile. And that's stuff that you're just like, mm -mm. as soon as you touch it, if you immediately think no, but then you go back to it and you're like, but I could use it for this, but I could use it. Throw it on the ground or put it into a donation bag, a trash bag, whatever it is that you want to do. Get it out of your way. Get it out of sight, out of mind. That way you don't end up keeping it. All right, so at this point, your no pile is out of sight, out of mind. Your maybe pile is in front of you and your yes pile is probably pretty large and it's going to be over off to the side. The reason that you're going to keep it off to the side and not put it back in the closet is because you don't want to put it back in the closet like that. It's an unorganized mess and you don't want to do that. Before you do that, you're going to go through these maybes again and you're going to look at each piece and really determine whether or not you actually want it. Just based on when you touch it and the material, how, like this sounds funny, but how does it make you feel? Does it feel like... No, I really love this piece. I know I'm going to wear it. I can wear it for this thing. That's like really, really soon. That's actually upcoming and not something where you're like, oh, I could wear it if I do this or if I do like none of that. Just you're going to wear it. You're not going to wear it. How it makes you feel. Would you go into a store today and buy it? Yes or no. So for example, this, I do think that I'll wear it during the fall. I'm thinking of some different cardigans that I have that I can throw it underneath, especially as we start transitioning into fall because it's still a little bit warm here. So I might want something a little bit cooler underneath the cardigan. Um, but for example, this guy, no, <laughs> Ryan told me not to buy this last year. I should have listened to him. I did wear it, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, why in the world? Why? Like why? Bye. So pretty simple and straightforward. That's how this works. And just as a side note, your no pile, I like to get rid of it right away. Some people don't get rid of it. Some people will like put it in a bag, put it somewhere and give themselves like a three month timeline, let's say, or a month or whatever it is. And if you're looking for that piece and you miss it, then at least you still have it. You can pull it back out and you can keep it and know that it was good for you to keep that. And if you don't, and then you have a whole bag of nose that you haven't touched in three months, don't even bother looking at it again. Just donate it, get rid of it, take it to Goodwill or, you know, however you get rid of your stuff and be done with it. So now you've gone through all of your maybes and they're either yeses now or they're in the no pile. With your yes pile that you have left over, what you're gonna wanna do so that you can actually organize your closet is figure out 
First of all, how do you like to organize? Some people like to organize by sleeve length, which is me. So whatever that is for you, start separating your piles into that. So for example, I have all my blouses here. I have tanks there. I have tees and other tops there. I have um, like cover-ups and lightweight like jackets, kimonos, that kind of stuff over there. And then I've got um, like sweaters and sweatshirts that are not like big frumpy ones, but like wearable ones over in that pile. And then I've got a couple of jumpsuits here that I know I'm gonna be wearing for the fall, along with a few jackets that I know I'll probably have on repeat. I have a friend who likes to do everything by color and then by sleeve length. So she'll have like everything that she has in red, whether it's a tank top, whether it's a t-shirt, shirt whether it's a blouse whether it's a long sleeve shirt a jacket whatever it's all like in that pile so yeah just however you prefer make those piles so that you're ready to go don't put anything in your closet yet just have the piles ready to go from here you're going to take one of those piles and you're going to put it into your closet and then you're going to organize it all by sleeve length whatever your thing is i recommend sleeve length just because i think it's easier if you're looking for tank tops whether or not it's color code color coordinated, you're gonna be able to find everything really easy. If you're like, oh, I'm looking for that tank top, go to that color section, you have it. Go to all your tank tops, you have it, whatever it is. So I recommend that and it just looks nicer. So as you can see, here is my section of blouses and everything is organized by sleep length. So everything, as it gets longer. And then I know before that I'm going to put my t-shirts, before that I'm going to put my tank tops, after that I'm going to put those other long sleeve and like sweater pieces, then I need my jumpsuits, jackets, that kind of thing. So we've got tanks, tees, blouses, long sleeve, a few jumpsuits and jackets. Time to tackle up there and what's behind this door. Remember, same thing applies with any shelving that you have in your closet, pull everything out. The next part is actually my favorite part. This is where you use the bins that you get from TJ Maxx or wherever you get your bins from to organize everything. And it looks really cute and it's honestly like, it's just, it's my favorite part. So it'll look something like this. I put all of my denim in one. I put shirts that kind of like unwrinkle themselves in one, like camis. and you can mix and match them. Um, you can get some of the same ones in different sizes and just kind of scatter them around. It gives you so much extra storage space. It helps you declutter. It helps you keep everything organized and nice. And then once you're done, it's going to look like this. So you have all your different bins. You've got all of the stuff that you need. So I like to put my jewelry in cute little bowls like this. I've got a glass one back there for all my belts and those two in the front, sunglasses, some more jewelry. I have a bin for all of my swimsuits and like summer stuff for my winter like scarves, um, hats, stuff like that. My bags that I like to use, some watches, and of course hats. Clearly I've got a theme going on there. It's a lot of green. Um, and then I also got this cool little thing which I can throw a couple other belts on. can put on um, some different scarves and stuff like that. I just put the bins in their place. I might think about getting two more just to fill up this space a little bit more because it does look a little empty, but I'm liking the way that it looks so far. So um, I'm gonna show you the finished product. Just keep in mind that Ryan's side we're gonna do separately, so that part's still a little bit messy, but the rest of it I love. I think it really will help you to maximize the space that you have, like I said, to declutter by getting rid of other stuff that you don't need and kind of having a good way to go about it because it can be really, really difficult to get rid of old stuff. I know that. So hopefully this will be helpful. Let me show you really quickly and then we'll go into some final thoughts. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you found it super helpful. I hope that you have new tips and tricks that you learned from today. Comment below and let me know what it is that you liked best and what you're going to be using for your closet. And also let me know your tips and tricks because I would love to know them and try them out. So let me know. In the meantime, just remember when you're doing this to have your yes, your no, your maybe pile. Check all those maybes, put them into the yes and the no pile, whichever one they belong to, and just get your space decluttered, get everything organized, and put up your cute little bins and all that stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I'm so happy that you're here watching. So thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!